If you believe the Las Vegas Raiders are out of the playoff hunt at 2-4 right now, you got to stop. Maybe you thought they were going to come charging out of the gate and got overly disappointed when they didn't. I thought the Raiders would be 3-3 three three at this point before the season started. The only difference between where I had them and where they are is their loss to the Arizona Cardinals and they clearly should have won that game. It takes time for players to adapt to new schemes and for coaches to adapt their schemes to the players. So I always had the Kansas City Chiefs winning the AFC West with the Raiders slowly getting it together and getting odd enough from the middle to the end of the season to make the playoffs. They can get in the playoff picture in five to six weeks. Let's start with who's ahead of the Raiders in the AFC West. The Kansas City Chiefs are going to win the division, so let's go to the second place Los Angeles Chargers. They're literally hurting with all the injuries they have. They're saying left tackle Rashawn Slater may return from a torn bicep really late in the season and defensive end Joey Bosa has a good 48 weeks to return from groin surgery. Receiver Mike Williams will miss at least the next four weeks and corner JC Jackson is out for the season. Their next five games are at the Atlanta Falcons, at the San Francisco 49ers, home for the Chiefs, at the Arizona Cardinals and the Raiders in Las Vegas. Of course, the Raiders are at the New Orleans Saints, at the Jacksonville Jaguars, home for the Indianapolis Colts, at the Denver Broncos, and at the Seattle Seahawks. I wouldn't be surprised if they win their next five games, at least four. And if you look at what's ahead for the Chargers with all the injuries they have, they're in trouble. The Raiders just might be ahead of the Chargers before they play them in that sixth game that I fully expect them to win. Also ahead of the Raiders for the three wild card spots are the 5 and 2 New York Jets, the 4 and 3 Miami Dolphins, the 4 and 3 Cincinnati Bengals, the 3 and 3 Indianapolis Colts, and the 3 and 4 New England Patriots. That's five more teams for the Raiders to fight for those three spots. I don't think this Jets thing is going to last as they play the New England Patriots twice and the Buffalo Bills twice in the next 6 weeks. They're home for the Chicago Bears and at the Minnesota Vikings too. The Jets are going to fall off. The Dolphins will still be there though. They play the Detroit Lions, the Bears, the Cleveland Browns, the Houston Texans, the 49ers, and the Chargers. The Bengals are going to be a little different without Jamar Chase the next four to six weeks with the hip injury. They got the Carolina Panthers at home, at the Pittsburgh Steelers, at the Tennessee Titans, at the Chiefs, and at the Browns. The Colts got the Washington Commanders at home, at the Patriots, at the Raiders, at home for the Philadelphia Eagles and Steelers, and at the Dallas Cowboys. They're going to get scratched up over that stretch. Then there are the Patriots with two games against the Jets, the Colts, Vikings, Bills, and Cardinals over the next six weeks. That's a pretty tough stretch. It's crazy how they did the schedule. The Raiders were in hard right away with the new team and systems. So they made mistakes and lost games while the teams ahead of them were on the easier parts of their schedule. Now it's the opposite, so the Raiders could very well be in the playoff picture within five to six weeks. So don't give up just yet. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.